Hey guys, what's up? This is Nazar2 and you're watching DCS and today we're gonna have another look at the Mi-24P, the Hind helicopter. And we did talk about the AP channel last time, that little guy here. Um, let's enable our friend. Oh, I don't hit it. No. And today we're gonna talk a little bit about the trimmer button. So first things first, let's have a look at the special menu where you have to adjust a little bit maybe. Okay, so what you do is you go into settings, go to special and find the MI24P. And here you have the trim mode. Don't worry, it's in German, but it's pretty similar in English. So it's uh, at the same point, so don't worry. And here, from this drop-down, um, change it from standard to center after trimming, something like that it will be called. What you should know is that when you press the button, which is um, this uh, button where the thumb would rest naturally there, I'll press it down now, it's down, up, um, it will fixate the side click at the position that it has when you push the trimmer button. So in the real life aircraft it would sim simply stay there and you can move it from there with like a new center point. And in the sim as most of us has spring-loaded joysticks um, it wouldn't make sense to press the trimmer button there and have the virtual side click at this position but our physical joystick wants to go back center so we don't have any benefit from it if we have to hold the joystick in that position anyway. So you put it back to center and then have your new center position. It just imagine it translates and um, that's why we had to put this option to center the joystick after trimming. You, I think, as soon as you release the trimmer button, as long as you don't move, you can center your joystick. And this can take a second or two or five. I think that's no problem as long as you don't move it like you're trying to uh, steer the aircraft in any way, but if you bring it so what you have to do after you pressed the um, Trimmer button is you have to center your joystick every time All right, so how can we use it? Um, one thing I use it for is to get into a more or less good hover and what I want is to have the cyclic in a position that makes the aircraft um, as still standing as possible while we hover. And I want to find a state where I have to just do minimal inputs to like change the um, change the way it's drifting. So let's um, see how that works. I will try to do it uh, in a little bit of a fish eye uh, so you can see the trimmer button. I try also to say uh, trim every time I press it. And I will quickly press it, release it, center, and then do the adjustments. It's pretty quick. I don't know if I can keep up with my, with my speaking. So um, let's get it a little bit more like this to have the correct um, takeoff position. I will have the uh, yaw channel on to not have to worry about my pedals. So let's uh, try this. Um, I will also let me. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We're adding power slowly. And now it's the first time that I correct the movement of the chopper, press the trimmer and keep keep it there. Recenter, add some more power, correct, press the trimmer, 
Give some more power, correct, press the trimmer. Trim. Forward trim, backward trim. And now it's a little bit of a mini game. But I'm having now a a pretty good center position from which I don't have to give that much of an input to stay in place. Okay, that was too much. And with a lot of small steps I found a pretty good position to have a good and steady hover. I hope you could see all these uh, little um, down presses that I did but now I have to just m have to I don't even know the word for it I, I barely touch my uh, joystick to correct any lateral movement now I just like yeah have a finger and dip it for, for, for a fraction of a second and so I have a perfect hover established. Of course with the uh, help of the um, your autopilot but that's one situation where, can, where uh, the trimmer is pretty useful. And I have my hands off now so there's nothing to do. I just push it a little bit to the right as we're drifting, a little bit to the left as we're drifting. Not too much. And that's that's one situation where the trimmer is pretty handy. And I don't have to hold uh, the joystick now in an awkward position. I'm pretty relaxed. As I said, I have my hands off the trimmer, off the joystick at all. And that's pretty neat. So let's add some altitude here. Point the nose. I will now point the nose forward. Push the trimmer button and recenter my joystick to get in a forward attitude. So forward push, trim, take it away, correct a little bit, trim again. Correct a little bit more. Okay, I have to re-trim here. The yaw channel. I have to center the stick. So that's what happens when you don't center the stick. You make some inputs um, but the the chopper will not react. I forgot to, to center it, so you've seen that too. Okay, now we have a, a good attitude trim. Taking the hands off. Do some small corrections trim, correction trim. And we're pretty good at, um, at a cruising uh, attitude. Correction trim. And now we're steady. I don't have to uh, touch the joystick. We are pretty much level. We don't have the um, attitude channel. So this is just by uh, the trim. And that's pretty useful. So also when I want to do a turn now, a pretty long turn, I can um, use the trimmer for this. So what I do is I initiate the turn with the rudder pedals. I go into yeah like 20 or 50 degree trim. And now I can do turns as long as I want. I did trim the chopper in this uh, position. I can now take my right hand off and do something with the mouse here. Uh, click whatever I like and when I want to leave that state I just push the trim button get into a straight attitude release the trim button and I'm good if I'm not really happy with it I do small corrections just just a little tiny bit push the trim button until I'm satisfied with my heading and uh, the attitude of the aircraft and then we're good. And with the 
bank and pitch autopilot enabled the aircraft will be super steady so in short use the trimmer to do small corrections so you can center your own joystick it's there for you to not all the time hold it in a weird position um, you can use this technique on almost every chopper also the UE works that way beside the fact that you have to constantly use the pedals there but I do it the same way in the UE I, um, I make the chopper turn or pitch how I want press the trimmer button and center my joystick hands off and let it do its thing and I do think, let's try it here I don't think that the I'm just trying to see how the chopper reacts to just me rolling without pushing the trimmer button now I roll with the trimmer button well I don't think it's more straight so I think you don't necessarily have to hold it down to like override the um, the autopilots you can also find your position press it once and center the joystick yeah I hope that helps a little bit I'm not a super professional instructor and I'm also not saying that what I have is wisdom um, I'm just telling you how it works for me and what works best and I'm just glad if it helps you to have more fun in this awesome module. Alright guys, so see you next time and take care. Bye bye.